Let's read source 6 for the child labor investigation, titled Christian Science Monitor. First, let's remind ourselves of the central question, because that's our purpose for reading this source. Why does hazardous child labor continue to exist in Nepal? Now, let's read the attribution and then the headnote to find out what type of source this is, who wrote it, who published it, and when it was published. Attribution. From the news article, Nepal's earthquake, a push to rebuild without child labor. Written by Michael Holtz. Published by the Christian Science Monitor in June 2016. And here's the website to find the article. Headnote. This article is from the Christian Science Monitor, an international news organization. It writes about international and U.S. events. The reporter, Michael Holtz, traveled to Nepal to investigate how the 2015 earthquake is impacting the brick kiln industry and child labor in Nepal. More children often have to work after disasters like earthquakes and tsunamis. Let's pause here and take a moment to answer these questions about the headnote and attribution in your packet. So pause and come back when you're ready. Okay, now let's read the source. Let's read this article by the Christian Science Monitor. Developing, which means poor countries, often use child labor after natural disasters. They need to rebuild quickly and do not want to spend a lot of money. Because a lot of families are homeless, it is easy for employers to hire children to work in brick kilns. In Nepal, 60,000 children work in brick kilns. The National Human Rights Commission of Nepal says more children started working after the earthquake. Because of the damage, the country needed many bricks to repair thousands of schools, government offices, and other buildings. Okay, now go back and read the source on your own. And pause after each sentence to think uh, what sentences begin with transition words or introductory phrases. And what key ideas come after transition words or introductory phrases?